What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I just got a chance to check out some of the clips from SmackDown revolving Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan, uh, Edge, and Jay Uso. And I, I want to first talk about the Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan segment, uh, that little interaction they had. And I'm not going to lie to you, that promo, their little interaction with each other was gold, bro. They... When it comes to them on the mic going back and forth, it's fantastic. I like the fact that Daniel Bryan's out there basically saying, look, man, I'm going to tap out Roman Reigns. You know, I like the fact that he he called out the situation of the special guest enforcer for their match at Fastlane. If Edge wins, Edge is the ultimate opportunist, and he only really wants to face Roman at WrestleMania. And if Jey Uso wins, then he already knows it's going to be a two-on-one handicap match. So, I, I like that he's already kind of putting that out there. Like, it's not really a win-win. It's, it's really not a win-win situation for Daniel Bryan in his eyes. And I like the fact that he's like, yo, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to tap out Roman. That is my goal. Roman Reigns comes out there. And he's basically like, yo, you can tell all these little white lies about how, you know, you, you're, you're gonna, you know, you feel like you deserve this opportunity. You feel like you're hungry again. You can, you can tell these white lies. I'm cool with that. But sitting up here disrespecting me, saying you're gonna tap me out. I've never tapped out to anybody. And when you think about it, he's one of the few wrestlers that WWE has protected so well that he hasn't really ever tapped out. Uh, John Cena, I don't think he's ever tapped out in his career. Not that I can remember. Um, I think I think he may have tapped out once, but that's when he was a heel. I think. I'm, I could be wrong. And Roman Reigns is the same way. He's never actually tapped out to anybody. So, I like that he mentioned that. He said, I would die in that ring before I ever tap out to someone like you. And I like Daniel Bryan's response. It was it was it was so perfect. He's like, "Oh, you would die. That's a that's a little extreme." Here's the thing, Roman. I'm going to break you. I'm going to break you. I, whether you tap out or you don't tap out, whether you pass out, whatever. I'm going to break you. I'm going to break your beliefs in thinking you're the best. I'm going to break your beliefs in thinking that you you know you can't be beaten like i love that 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 mental like psychological like threat i guess you can say because it's different when you make someone tap but it's a whole nother level when you break them psychologically to the point where they never thought they would lose or they never thought they would lose in that fashion they always thought they could never be beaten and you break someone like that i think that adds that little bit of dynamic in Daniel Bryan's like arsenal like look bro I'm gonna make sure you understand not only am I going to tap you out I'm going to break you mentally I'm gonna break your spirit I'm gonna I'm going to destroy you in ways you've never been destroyed destroyed before and I love that love that great segment um then we you know I kind of looked at the clips of uh of Edge going against Jay Uso, his first time wrestling on SmackDown in over 10 years, I want to say. Um, and it, it was a decent match, an enjoyable match. I love the fact that Jay Uso, he's damn near a main event player, bro. His feud with Roman Reigns has elevated him to a main event player. And he's not just some squash individual. Like people that wrestle Jay Uso, they actually have to try and actually have to put in some work to beat him. So I do like that. Even in even though he's lost to Daniel Bryan recently and now he's lost to Edge, I still like the fact that Edge didn't just come in there and was a, a cakewalk. You know what I'm saying? So I do believe this Roman Reigns heel turn has ultimately benefited Jay Uso. People know who Jay Uso is. And I, I love that. Um match was entertaining. Of course. Edge one, you had Daniel Bryan on commentary. And then, of course, obviously, Roman Reigns comes out there, spears Edge into oblivion, talking trash. And what I loved about this, Roman straight up looking at Daniel Bryan on commentary, like, yo, what's up now? Tap, come tap me out now. I want you to. Love that. 
Damn, Brian's like, shit, say the word, say less. Then he gets attacked from behind by Jay Uso, and he, Daniel Bryan gets hit with a vicious spear to end off the show. And Roman Reigns is standing tall, like, you ain't ever gonna tap me out, talking his trash. Like, bruh, I'm all for it, dog. Like, this is going to be the match for me that I'm going to enjoy the most. Not even gonna lie to you. I don't think there's gonna be any other match on the card that I'm gonna enjoy as much as this because they have built this up so well. Now I have been hearing you guys say that Apollo Cruz is his heel his heel work is fantastic too. And I believe he's supposed to be facing Big E at Fast Lane as well. So I'll definitely, you know, be checking out some of uh um Apollo Cruz's uh clips off camera, you know what I'm saying, just to kind of catch up to see you know what's been going on with this for you but y'all been saying like i need to check out his storyline because it's it's actually pretty entertaining and i love to see at least smackdown has different storylines going on that are holding more people's attention on the raw side of things the only thing i really care about is the drew mcintyre and bobby lashley situation but it's good to see there's more than just the main event storylines that's pulling people's attention so hey man i just want to know Honestly, we know Roman Reigns is not losing that fast lane. We know that. Unless they pull one of the most weirdest swerves in WWE history and get rid of or well, take the title away from Roman at this pivotal time, which I don't think they will. Um, this is actually Dub calling me right now. I'm about to call him back as I finish recording. But um, I, I, I'm definitely thinking, obviously, Roman Reigns will retain, but I think it's going to be a screwy finish. Obviously, it's going to probably be a screwy finish, and I do believe they will find a way to get Daniel Bryan into this match. I just I feel like that's it's going to be a triple threat match at WrestleMania between Daniel Bryan, Edge, and Roman Reigns. So comment down below. Let me know if y'all think that's going to happen at WrestleMania this year. I'm willing to bet that's going to happen. This nigga is really trying to talk to me real quick. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I'm going <laughs> to hit him up. But I love you guys. Love you guys so much. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 40K. And I uh, appreciate y'all kicking with me. And I see. <laughs> I can't even do my outro. The nigga FaceTime me, bro. I'm going to hit him up once I turn the camera off. I love you guys.